Canadian business leaders are giving local organizations the support they need to achieve their long-term goals through the Niagara Community Foundation. This is the 12th year that we've been doing these breakfasts. Um, when we first started them back in 2002, it was all about talking about corporate philanthropy. In the last few years, we've been talking about social innovation. So we've been bringing in different speakers that really talk about mo uh, much more broader community issues or social policy issues. We're an organization that links donors' interests to community need. Uh, we raise endowment funds and make grants to charities that the donors or through an application process uh, to fund projects and programs across Niagara. What made you decide to uh, get the senator to speak today? So about a year ago I heard him on TVO uh, and we were really interested in poverty reduction initiatives. We are the community convener around the Niagara Prosperity Initiative and it just had such resonance, his message, that I had to find a way to have him come and it worked. I've come to Niagara first of all to pay tribute to the great work of the Community Foundation and the work that's been done in this community by business leaders and others on the issue of poverty. Niagara does better than many parts of Canada, but close to 5% of the people in this region are living beneath the poverty line. And a lot of the people here this morning for breakfast are the people who are working very, very hard as private citizens to help on that issue. I'm here to talk about a better way of dealing with poverty than we do in Canada now. We spend over $160 billion between the provinces and Ottawa, but the amount of people living beneath the poverty line hasn't reduced substantially in a quarter of a century. There are better ways to do this. The Swiss are having a referendum on the 24th of November on a basic income, a guaranteed annual income for people, where individuals beneath the poverty line get topped up automatically, as we have done for our senior citizens since 1975. I'll be talking about how that might work, what it means for the economy, what it means for stronger communities, and that's the message I'm bringing here today to the Niagara Community Foundation here in St. Catharines. Many times you get the opportunity to speak to the Canadian business leaders. What would you like to say to those who are in poverty at the moment? I would say two things. First of all, you're not alone. People really do care and are trying to find a way to be helpful. Second of all, remember that in the end, whatever programs may exist, it's what you yourself are able to do. And the challenge for the community is to make sure that you have the tools to get out of poverty. It's not good enough just to help people manage within poverty, we should be looking to eradicate poverty and make sure that no one lives beneath the poverty line and a lot of Canadians care very deeply and are working very hard. What was the main reason you came up with this breakfast? When we first started, we were a relatively new organization. It was a way for us to tell our story to a group of people in a short period of time and it's worked. What do you see in the next couple of years for the foundation? Uh, opportunities for perhaps to, us to be a bit more strategic with our grant making, perhaps putting more dollars into a few areas, still continuing to do some small grants, but maybe to do some larger investments. We don't know yet. We're just going to start some planning next year about that. With $5.7 million given back since 2001, they prove they are helping good people do great things in their community. For more information, log on to NiagaraCommunityFoundation.org. In St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Kendra Dyer.